because of people like you. This guy. Three little words. Get fucked, nerd. Here's the next one. Sheila Aliens. She runs the channel um, Red Bar Radio Replay. Half of the day, I don't think, she doesn't know, but she's getting me in a lot of trouble. So she runs this video, and I'm going to play you this video. She's going to narrate the video at the beginning. It's very Again, exciting. Again, this is why we call her Spilly. And believe me, you know, Jeffree Star ain't this nice to Spilly. He tries to sue her every day. <laughs> I actually play with the people who try to destroy me, which is, you'll never see that in host world. Um, here is the clip she posted, and it's called Revenge of the Nerds vs. Red Bar. I I'll like let, this video. I love this video. And I'm going to let her explain it. And um, this is a fucking awesome moment in Red Bar. And again, it's going to give me a chance to explain something that I think needs to be explained. Here you go. This is her clip from last week. Here, look at this. And this is what the losers are doing now because they can't be losers alone. Look at this. Look at these fucks. Here we go. They all collect DVDs and figurines. This is QAnon. All right. This is the Proud Boys. So here is where all the commotion started. Now, apparently, all these people on this screenshot I was showing, I never heard one of them in my whole life. I think I seen this fat fuck on H3. They don't like him, right? The quartering. The quartering, but this He's screenshot. Like a Brie Larson guy. I didn't know that was him. All I know is Chrissy Marr when I was showing this screenshot, and I just assumed these are fucking. And if the you're guy from Crowder. Did I know him though at the time? I mean, I don't even think I was talking about him. Probably not. I, I was like, it's Chrissy Marr and a bunch of losers. Like when we watched that ski mask guy. Yes. I mean, to me, if you're on screen with Chrissy Marr, you're like a bottom of the barrel fucking loser. <laughs> I'm not going to look into it any further than that. So I see this. And by the way, I'm anti doing a Zoom call broadcast from your bedroom. I'm like if, if if all these guys are in their bedrooms. I'm anti that. I'm anti, yes, a bookcase of DVDs as your set. <laughs> I'm anti that. Um, <laughs> so I see this and I say, this is. You know, the losers of the world. This is the bottom of the barrel people. This is QAnon. This is Proud Boys. This is the... And lo and behold, all these people in this screenshot, all they took away from that is, they think we're QAnon and Proud Boys? Now, here's where... I, I, and I want to play this. And maybe I'm the one who has this weird... Maybe this is a Chicago way of talking that no one else knows. I want to play this because this happened with me and Joey Diaz. Listen to this. Fox. They all collect DVDs and figurines. This is QAnon. This is the Proud Boys. Right. These are the scum <laughs> of America's bottom. Now, in my head right there, I'm listing three different groups. I'm with saying, a similar vibe. I'm saying this is what these losers are doing. This is what QAnon's doing. This is what the Proud Boys are doing. These are these groups. For some reason, everyone, even the girl who posted this, is going, I don't know why Mike's accusing them. He must be trolling or shitposting. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just giving uh, three different examples. <laughs> and then you go, what if you have to like really spell everything? I mean, how many people didn't know that when they listened to this clip? Press one if you knew exactly what I was talking about. Press two if, oh my God, I thought you were saying they were Proud Boys. That to like me. Most people must know. No, I Jules, hope, you always have such faith in humanity. Obviously, there's like a million tweets going, <laughs> why is he calling us Proud Boys? We're not Proud Boys just because we collect DVDs. That's more chilling than what I thought you were to begin with. You're going to watch a lawyer by the name of Rick Nick Ricketta down here. He's going to do a whole thing about how, I mean, he couldn't tell the difference. He's a lawyer. This man went to law school, passed the bar, practices law, and he couldn't tell that I was comparing three items. This happened with Joey Diaz. The number one comment in that Joey Diaz exposed video is, Xanax isn't an SRI, you fucking idiot. 
<laughs> because I said, I don't want my comedians on Xanax. I don't want my comedians on SSRIs. Everyone's pressing one, by the Everybody way. Everybody went, Xanax isn't an SSRI. It's a pleasurable. And I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why they couldn't tell. I was making a list of things I don't like that are similar. I didn't realize that I had to say all the mini words in between to make it perfectly spelled out. And it is missed by so many people that I go, that's why I'm asking, is it a weird Chicago way of speak that just doesn't commute, compute? So watch the chaos that ensued from this. And even right now, there's people going, yeah, right. That's just an excuse because you got caught. I, I mean, th this is the trouble. This is why I brought this screenshot up to begin with because of this sort of trouble. This is QAnon. <laughs> About the lawyer, they're this saying he the passed crowd. the bar, but he couldn't pass the, the red, red bar. The red bar, exactly. Uh, ah, my eyes. <laughs> But wait till you see how they reacted to this. Boys, these are the scum of America's bottom floor, and they found community. It's the most dangerous thing happening today. Alt right. Okay, now they cut to this beautiful clip. It cuts to two of the guys from the screenshot. Welcome. And this is AZ, Heels Babyface, and Nerd Roddick. One of them has DVDs and figurines, and the other one has, whoa, everything from Comic-Con in his background. I've never seen, only Casey Neistat had so much going on in his office. This is crazier than Casey Neistat, but it's all figurines. Now, the two of them, all I said is, they're scum, they collect DVDs and figurines. This is their reaction to the clip that I just played. It's the most dangerous thing happening today. Alt right proud boys. What a fucking dickhead. Here's the other guy, the so lawyer. Apparently, there's cuts. more, don't worry. Uh, yeah, watch. There's a guy named Mike David. This is the lawyer from Red Bar Radio. They're doing a multi -stream. Chrissy Marr. Look at the balds. The balls. <laughs> that that's kind of funny. Oh. That's kind of funny. Watch this. Hey everybody, this is Sheila with the Red Bar Radio. That's just the intro. That's just the intro. Just another clipping channel. The clipping channel that brings you Red Bar in HD 1080p 60 FPS. Thank Only you, 1080 Sheila. from now on. Thank you. I appreciate that. No more that. 720. Sheila. So I was watching Red Bar Radio live on Valentine's Day. It was a 10-hour show and I tuned in around the 4-hour mark. But right when I tuned in, it was interesting because Mike pulled up a picture of a live stream with nine people in it who I'm very familiar with. These are my people on the internet. They're part of my dorky, nerdy community, wow. fandom menace, Doxed. and comics gate. These are Star Wars fans, bitter Star Wars fans. Oh, they're <laughs> Star Wars fans. Finally, a group worse than the Proud Boys. <laughs> Imagine being a fan of Star Wars. Now I get it. Fandom Menace instead of Phantom Menace. Wow, look at this. It's all starting to make sense, except for the lawyer. What is he trying to do? Sue the franchise? Because of how much it sucks? I hope. Um, this is crazy. These people assume, and you'll learn this later on in the clip, these people assume. And by the way, I apologize to these people, and there's a huge apology coming to all of these people. For the misunderstanding, I'll even say, even though they stupidly misunderstood me, I'm sorry for labeling you that because people still took it that way. And who would want to be labeled that? And for that, I'm sincerely sorry. And I'm sure you're very nice people. But you're, I, I, I hate Star Wars. And they assume that I know about the goings on on this show. What is the show called? Uh, I don't know. The Star Wars show. You know very well oh, what it's the called. the Mandalorian? The Mandalorian. They assume. Oh, see, Gino yeah. Corrado. Gina. <laughs> oh, Gina. Now, what's so interesting? <laughs> I start talking about Gino Bisconte in my clip, and the clip that I was showing was them talking about Gina Carano, who was fired from the Mandalorian show for being a conservative. So do you see the mix up here? <laughs> But did they just say, ah, it's a simple mix-up, it's okay, let's move on. Well, let's find out how they handled this. 
But more importantly, I already made my point about these lists that I make and how they get confused. Can somebody explain this to these people before they create 9-11 Part 3 again? We're mad about the Listen direction the franchise has taken. And as you may know, the Mandalorian actress, Gina Carano, who plays Cara Dune on The Mandalorian, was recently fired by Disney from her acting job simply for being a conservative. On I guarantee it won't simply. It's never simply. All right. Believe me, she was doing the nasty. <laughs> all right. That's like saying Gavin McInnes was simply taken off Twitter for being a conservative hand to God. That's all he ever did. Okay. On the internet. Wait, I better, exactly I better say I have no idea uh, as well. Because these guys. I to learn what her I tweets were. I have no idea. I'm just know. assuming, okay? No one simply gets removed from all of the internet for doing nothing. The type of stuff that Chrissy Marr and Josh Denny like to latch on to. So yes. Chrissy Marr was on their live streams. And I'm a moderator for three of the people on the screen there. Wow. They all know me. So now Chrissy Marr has been streaming with these people recently because there's a crossover between her, between Chrissy Marr's cancel culture specialty topic that she likes to talk about. There's a crossover <laughs> between that and the Star Wars fandom. Wow. So I kind of feel like Chrissy Marr might be a little bit grifting into, you know, trying to tap into this you online. Know, more importantly, they've created this industry about complaining about cancel culture. It is the gayest thing they've ever done. All right. Nobody should worry about cancel culture more than me. I have more right to worry about it than any of you. Yet, I don't sit here and make it the show. You've made your whole life is running in circles talking about this one subject that you're scared to death of that you do nothing to contribute to to, to even be in trouble for. And you go around and round and round and you collect up more idiots as you spin. <laughs> and somebody needs to come in and shake the people and wake them up and go, it can't be about cancel culture year after year, day after day, minute by minute. Just say what you want to say and cross your fucking fingers like me. <laughs> or come up with a plan. But simply talking about it and raising donations is not enough. I'm territory because these people regularly have three to 5,000 viewers live when they're live streaming like this. Mike wants to poke fun at them, but they're not who he says they are. It's been on a delusional. I sent you one of those screenshots you were talking uh, about. I got a Where? screenshot here. This one? Yeah. Let's see what this is. Waiting. Do people know what I'm talking about here? Here, look at this. Okay, so she's going to show the clip. Again. So apparently. Oh, she's going to show the clip again. It kind of goes back and forth, but we want to get to how they reacted. We've all seen the clip. Now let's see this reaction here. That's her talking yeah, about Yeah, that's it. what I'm going to show. Here, check this out. Right, proud boys. <laughs> when they are anything but. Here, here. You know, Jean, see how they weaponize this whole. Yeah. If Sheila is here, Sheila, you want to. Say something, because you're confused, too, it appears. I mean, you're the one who started this whole thing by tweeting about it. <laughs> so, Sheila, does my explanation make sense, or is it a conspiracy? Do you understand now that I was doing a three-point list? Or do you think I was still calling them Proud Boys and QAnon and that I'm lying now? I'd love to hear from you. But let's hear from her. Her. And it's here. In this video here well, political thing it's very frustrating so i thought it was pretty funny of mike to be hyperbolic and label all of them as q anon alt-right proud boys <laughs> when they are anything but she thought so it was funny. being funny and i thought they might get a kick out of it and they did i posted it on twitter and the post kind of grew this like is what she posts Mike David of Red Bar Radio mistakenly accuses fandom men of streamers of being alt-right Proud Boys without having watched any of the stream himself, only seeing a screen. This is what you do as a fan? You get what I assume is QAnon to all get mad at me? Are you <laughs> out of your mind? She's trying to drum up some excitement. These are the people I fear the most, and you're trying to get them all on my fucking ass? <laughs> are you out of your mind? What kind of fan would do that to me? Here, I'm a fan of uh, Tom Green. Let me go to his house and start lighting the house on fire. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm just doing a fan activity. Arson. I, I don't get it, but I'll allow it. Imagine that. I'm allowing it. You're here. I still like you. Not copyright striking you or anything. 
It's amazing. And these guys, they like, because they're hearing a girl's voice, you forget that it's insane. Well, let's hear some more. <laughs> its own. And a lot of them got a kick out of it. And then a lot of them were pissed. Watch <laughs> what happened here. Look at these tweets. And a lot of them just don't understand Mike, scroll through. And a lot of them are still confused as to where, what is he? Is he a troll? Look at this. Is he just, Look it's at just the funny people. to see. So I got a kick. I got now she's scrolling through Twitter showing the thousands of what I consider to be the scariest people I could think of all retweeting my video saying he slurred through pontificating made me laugh the boosh and I mean they're going insane he wants to silence others look at this he wants says. to silence others Here. to laugh a couple different ways I got to laugh at them who the fuck is this loser laughing at Mike for being so out of touch and is this idiot drunk wrong yes the fact that Mike didn't even they own DVDs. Clearly not. That's what they took away from this. <laughs> not one person in this scroll goes, I think he was just making a list. I don't think he was saying you were. She went out. Not one person. Watch their live stream to know what they are talking about. Who is this irrelevant guy? Does he know? He has no idea what he's talking about. But don't forget, people like this only listen to content where yeah. the guy they're watching is going to say something that they already know, going to yeah. say exactly what they expect. So when they see some but he's saying something unexpected, then they just can't. Well, these because are the people like the quarter okay, and they're coming on these are the saying people. what they want to hear. No, no, no. These are the people, though, who are mad at the PC people for being what? Offended. Okay. These are the people who go, what are you crying about, Snowflake? All I did was call you the N-word to your face and say you should be killed. Stop whining. These are the same people who are offended by a mistake list. And if you want to be offended by that, they collect DVDs part, which you are, you have every right to be. These are the people who want to say the N word out loud. <laughs> but if it comes to making fun of DVDs in their Star Wars, I mean, Conan O'Brien was right about you guys. There's some humor in that. It's pretty funny. Um, but then Look at the tweet. I also got the laugh at the fact that Nobody gets a mic, and he's such a hot topic, a, bu a button pusher, because none of them know who he is, yet he ruffled all of their feathers, and they all shared his post, and it became a content for them to share in their posts. live streams. They found it interesting. Or whatever. It's just funny. It's funny to see. Wait, but nobody goes to okay. Mike for the fact. Go back. Like, fuck, there's, I yeah, wish you what? could scroll up. There was a funny one where a guy mentioned something about being Catholic. This is what I call slander, defamation, and libel. He never even did a basic research or watch our shows. This is what these people are saying. These are supposed to be the guys who are so yeah, much. Keep, keep playing and I'll tell you where to okay. pause. Smarter than the rest of us. Literally every single person on that screen made more money in the past year than Mike David has in the past five. Boomer. Whoa. And, and, and again, this is why I was saying. <laughs> them know who he is. Yet. He ruffled all of their feathers and they all shared his post and it became a content for them to pause. share. Well, you could imagine a stupid soy boy like him saying that. Buy figurines or something. We all, it's something bad to the franchise we love. Okay, probably this motherfucker never take care what? with SW and just come with his new dis. And then they hit like on this. Yes. <laughs> Why is a lawyer hanging out with that? Whoever wrote that. The lawyer should hate. This is like when Gavin hung out with the dumbest retards from the Proud Boys. This is what I mean. They're all hanging out with each other. And if they're not retards, well, they're definitely allowing retards to Ooh. be in their same group. There is a better one, I swear. Okay. In their live streams, they found it interesting. Whatever. Pause. It's just funny. You don't see Catholics using autistic as an insult or insulting bald people. Such a wretched, scummy, and villainous <laughs> individual jumping to conclusions without knowing any of the facts to promote their woke agenda. This is the way, the way of the left. You don't see And Catholic. then they post my clip. Could you be any more That's my favorite crazy? one, for sure. All right, enough with the reading the tweets. Let's get on with this, because okay. you got to see their reaction. Fast forward to the guys. You'll be able to see it in the preview. Well, yeah, it's coming right up. Here. It's funny to see, but nobody goes to Mike for the facts or the news. You know, you go to him to hear him talk shit. Like slander and defamation is a big chunk of what he does for a living.
Oh. So I guess it's to be taken with a grain of salt. That's what but you think. These huh? are not QAnon, but I don't think the people that were streaming with Chrissy Mayer. By the way, nobody is QAnon anymore. You could go up to the guy who's got QAnon leader tattooed to his chest, and you'd be like, you're QAnon, but I'm not QAnon. I just believe in the truth. <laughs> so, yes, we understand QAnon now is a tarnished label, and all the QAnon people are no longer QAnon, but they have the exact same beliefs. So there is that. Understand that she has tried to latch on to the QAnon thing. And I got a bad first impression of her from Mike to begin with when I watched his episode about how she stole Christmas presents there you from go. people. At so the mall. yeah, if any of you guys are watching all these big streamers who hang out with Chrissy Marr and you see this, you go, okay, I understand this mistake that we made. We're sorry too, Mike. Uh, well, now you all just learned about why Chrissy Marr is the subject of the show, and that's because she steals Christmas presents from families. Not from the mall stores. To it. Not from the mall store. She steals presents from families who are out at Christmas dinner. She tells the story, admits to it, and then when we tell the story, she lies and pretends it never happened. So the girl you're hanging out with She's like a kleptomaniac that steals from personal families. You guys are Catholics, I right? thought you're you Catholics Christmas. and Christmas. Imagine you open your eyes on Christmas yeah. morning, your kids run downstairs, they start crying, Literally, they go, Dad, Dad. This was the night before Christmas. Chrissy Our stole presents. kids' presents because she wanted to see what was in the bag. And we <laughs> could, You could find that clip on YouTube if you want. I'm sure somebody could get you that clip. And the girl that you think is your good new friend, again, a kleptomaniac who steals Christmas presents. Some kid goes, Mom, where are the presents? They go, we didn't have it. ruined their whole family. That's anti. all of their savings on those presents. That's anti-Christ. All right, let's continue. You got to hear what these guys from the screenshot had to say about me. Oh, and they could turn out to be really expensive sweaters. And she admitted all of this. And then kind of scummy <laughs> you know if you're that kind of scummy you need to be funny enough to make up for it otherwise i'm not interested in you you yeah. can't just go around talking she about cancel bopped. culture you never got canceled you're just not funny so what the three guys that i am actually a moderator for ended up playing this clip of mike on their live streams the same day so let's take a look right if you had a red bar radio guy <laughs> nope what is it no, never mind. all right again here uh the bald guy Furious, the nerdier guy with the beard, I think, kind of knows that that's not what I was saying, but all of his friends are on this, so he's got to kind of go along with it. Uh, I feel like he's got a little bit of hope in him. I like a guy like this. You know, to me, that's not even what I call a nerd. That's a nerd. The big fat guy there. This guy is like, you're kind of cool. You know, you got a look to you, you know, Weezer. <laughs> We're just calling us Weezer now. Settle down. Free speech. Remember the whole free speech movement. Okay, uh, listen to this. M Mike uh, David of Red Bar Radio mistakenly accuses Fandom Menace Stream. Well, this is from Sheed Radians. Accuses Fandom Menace Streamers of being alt right proud boys. Wow. Without having watched any of the streams himself, only seeing a screenshot. There's a screenshot of the quartering, yellow flash, that Star Wars girl, Tom Connors, myself, you. Uh, Chrissy, Quarter Black, and Nick Ricada discussing the Gina Carano mm -hmm. uh, situation. Alt right Proud Boys. <laughs> what a fucking dickhead. Wow. This guy's eating this his sub. The fucking level of mental fucking uh, illness that we have to fucking deal with. I'm mentally ill. No, you're mentally ill. Do you <laughs> see this? What's going on? Who's more mentally ill? Me or him? One of us has to be the more mentally ill one. Otherwise, the world can't possibly be working correctly. We should get Dr. Drew on to do it. Yes. Test. All right, so let's uh, listen to this. They're extremely mad. Level of mental fucking uh, illness that we have to fucking deal with people. From these absolute buffoons. <laughs> should we play it? Should we play it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's listen, play this I'm, clip, shall I? Had uh, the guy I sold my shop to called called the entire group that I'm part of. All right, guy I've known for ten years. 
So a lot of people call oh, you a lot mate. of people. Oh, you know, so, let's so see. We let's see this is what's so funny about it. They go, they're so mad at me and appalled, but even their best friends are <laughs> saying this to them based on their appearance. That's not even about what we meant. Based okay. on, no. He goes, I, yeah, same, uh, you know, a week ago, the guy I sold my comic shop to me accused me of being, okay, <laughs> well, maybe you have a, uh, what do they call it? Like a PR issue here. I, I'm so, everyone calls us QAnon too, and I'm sick of, well, what are you doing? Let's see how they break down my clip. It's quite tremendous. And again, I'm willing to let this all, what I'm going to say. It was just we apologize a, to you. And we apologize to you, of course. We don't think you're that. We don't think you're the Proud Boys. We do think maybe you have some QAnon beliefs. But I will only know the answer to that if you take my test, which I hope you'll take. It is multiple choice. It is Scantron. Would you would you agree to taking a test with some very basic questions? Basically true or false questions about events in American history. And then based on those uh, answers, we'll decide if you're QAnon or normal. It should be easy. It should you're... be easy. If you're not QAnon, none of the uh, questions... You wouldn't get any of them wrong. And then I'd tear it up and go, you're free to go. Hmm. I got to come up with this Scantron. Please help me. I don't know any of the QAnon things, but maybe we could create this in the Bring Back group, a, a Scantron test. Oh, you're not QAnon? Please, will you take this quick five-minute exam? Sounds I know it's, very fair. That's a lot to ask, but we'll even send you a number two pencil. <laughs> Let's hear how this goes. So shall we? Be cool. Let's see what he says. Uh, what's this? Season 19, Light Mornings, Red something. Bar. Red is Brand? I sent you one of those screenshots you were talking about. Where? This one? Yeah. Let's see what this is. Do people know what I'm talking about here? Okay, so they're playing the clip again, but they're going to talk here, about it in between. Look at this. This is what they're doing. This is what the losers are doing now because they can't we're, be losers we're... alone. Look at this. The horror. <laughs> Chrissy Marr, look at the ball. And, and I want to. It's the oh, most fuck, dangerous. I screwed thing. it up. And I want to say this isn't us like fighting with you. We think this is a tremendous piece of art. You know, this is iconic to to what we do. And when we see a reaction take place like this, listen. I if I could go back in time and stop it from happening, I wouldn't. Uh, thank you. I don't want them to think. Oh no, now he's, you know. We like you. We actually think you're pretty cool now. Go to like nine minutes, I think. Nine minutes in. I fucked it up. I uh, went back. All right, nine minutes in, and it, it will hear their response. It's very cool. Worst people. They the, the Look at the balds. Oh, wait, I, go back I, I was a little, the, oh, Tom and me. little bit, little bit. Okay, here you go. Be cool. Let's see what he cool. says. Uh, what's this? Season 19, light there mornings, red something probably bar is red brand? I sent you one of those screenshots you were talking about where this one yeah. let's see what this is do people know what i'm talking about here here look at this this is what they're doing this is what the losers are doing now because they can't we're, be losers we're, alone we're, look we're. at this the horror chrissy <laughs> mar look at the balds look at these fox they all collect DVDs and figurines. These are the worst people that we could. <laughs> Autistic people, Hostbuster. They collect DVDs and figurines. They are the worst people. Yes, I still stand by that. I do apologize for the Proud Boy QAnon part. But I still think you're the worst people for the DVDs. That should come as shocking. Uh, I took a study this week, and it turns out 90% of the U.S. population believes DVD collecting is buffoonery. They all... <laughs> buffoonery was the number one descriptor of that, and I don't know if you ever got the memo. I mean, I would think all the stores clo closing and not selling DVDs would be a great, you know... Uh, Wake-up call. Wake-up call to the fact that this is no longer done. 
Uh, the figurines as well is very, very, very stupid, and it doesn't even give you joy. You're just hoping that if you have a million of them that you'll finally reach the joy point. But you know that when you get that figurine and you unwrap it, and then everyone sees you have it and they don't care because they have it too, then what? It's not really doing anything. It just makes your room look like a kid's room in not a cool, good way. So that's that about the figurines. Not in a big way. And I know, and here's the other thing that people don't want to do when they've invested their time into something. We're seeing this happen with politics where you go, well, now they're just straight up ignoring the facts, right? Well, yeah, they've invested so much time in the right or the left that they would look stupid to leave these beliefs behind now. They've gone too deep. It's the same thing with collecting figurines. You've spent so much money and time. You can never admit, not even yourself, that this sucks and was stupid and was dumb. It's okay. No one's going to judge you. You can throw those all on go, I was gay then. It's better that you've learned and evolved than to just dig your heels in and keep doing this. It's going to lead to nowhere except a plastic explosion one day. All right, let's hear some more. These are the worst people. They... The, I love look at guys. the balds. I I was the oh Tom and me. I thought I was going to say I'm the only bald person there. But 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 I'm bald. I have male pattern baldness. Yes. So uh, so that makes me uh, whatever you know some deviant according to him. And we collect DVDs and figurines. They are the worst. Let's listen more of this clown. <laughs> no. What do you think? <laughs> Whoa. Oh. They're on such an off path. They're so far oh, off. Good. And historically, we Teachers would have ignored Jesus. them. They were always silenced and sentenced. And then they're like, silenced! See? He wants to silenced! This is what's happening. I mean, Look, at his, face. Look at his face! Look at his face! Well, I want you silenced in the way, like... See what they've done with this cancel culture? You can't want people silenced anymore. I mean, is it illegal it, to want someone silenced? There's a lot of people that should be silenced. I know, like... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you ever want someone? Haven't you ever heard the term shut the fuck up? That's like cancel culture before this all happened. It's telling someone to shut the fuck up is silencing them <laughs> and censoring them. Now, I'm sure you've told someone to shut the fuck up. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to get you to lose your income. It's a figure of speech. They should be silent. These people shouldn't have internet access. These people are this. These people don't you understand. You got so many DVDs. Are you f understanding the movies that you're seeing? <laughs> you have Batman behind you. You understand he's not really hurting that Joker. It's, do you understand? You would think a guy with so many comic books would be smart. <laughs> That's a lot of reading. I've done it again, you know, with this player fuck? here. What time were we at? I don't know. Just try to 10, remember 30? my time. It's important, Jules. I know. All right, it's 1030. I think I would get, that's a complete Because these guess. guys got some funny shit to say. Let's hear what this, uh... let's go. Oh, that this is the Proud Boys. These are the scum of oh. America's bottom floor. Get this guy on. They... I'm, I'm British. Thank you. Wow. Scum of the British floor. Thank you very much, you you racist. Okay. Assuming my fucking nationality. Probably okay. pissed anyway. Sorry, you were so fat, I assumed you were from America. <laughs> I didn't know they had somebody that big in Britain. Or do they even know that you're there? <laughs> Have you left the house since Brexit? All right, let's hear some more. And I don't mean to make fun of you, you know. But you got to learn to roll with this stuff, bro. Don't be so serious. Haven't you ever heard of your <laughs> favorite cartoon character, the Joker? Why so serious? Here, I'll put in terms that you could understand. Don't be so serious. <laughs> That's the Joker. What about this? Hi, everybody. It's me, Lois Lane. Do not be serious. Does that? Remember all the superheroes? You don't see the superheroes sitting around uh, making these streams, complaining about being called names by the villain. Uh, hey, everyone. It's me, Batman. I'm so sick of Pumpkinhead or whatever his name is. <laughs> he just keeps saying that he wants to kill me and how much of a fag guy. Even that is less <laughs> whiny than this. And you still wouldn't see Batman do it. Batman just goes, I understand how they could hate me. I got to get him, though. 
Still got to get them, and it's an understood. And if anyone should know, there's an understoodness between villains and heroes. Whichever, if you want to be the hero today and I'm the villain or vice versa, it's still we're supposed to respect each other to a certain level. Before you go, who is this again? I've uh, this. I have no idea. This this person <laughs> is. They uh, like hold on, let me, um, I want to know who this guy is. I'll open up a set. I want to know uh, who this guy is. Mike David of Red Bar Radio. Red Bar Radio. Okay. Yeah. Well, for one, I mean, Red. For He's one, never heard of us? Let me guess. <laughs> it's like, guys, you got to have something in the chamber before you fire a blank. You know, you're so quick to say an insult to me, but you can't think of any. This happens all the time with mic coverage. They'll pause after I said something about them and they'll because go, the inf- the oh, yeah, well, oh, God. yeah, it's like you got to have something, though, to say. That's the difference. When I pause, I don't go, oh, it, well, anyway, that's called defeat. <laughs> radio is it actual radio or are they just a web i don't it's it's, it's just the name is red bar radio yeah it looks like it's just uh i don't think he says his audience are not leftists whatsoever he's a chaos agent with hatred towards everyone yeah (laughs) and that's not even a, a, a true thing i go after people that are stupid and liars and People that I find funny I would to call laugh you a at. Chaos agent. Sure, a chaos agent, but it really blows their mind. No, no, no. He has to be a leftist in order for this to make sense. We can't possibly just be made fun of for uh, who we are. You know who else used oh. to do this? You know who else does this? Cameron Esposito, aka a lesbian. Anytime I would make fun of her, it was because I'm a lesbian. Okay, he's making fun of me because I'm a lesbian. Oh, it couldn't just be that I don't like you regardless of the sexual thing. So for you guys to fire off all the time. Oh, he doesn't like us. Well, we lean more conservative, so he must be a liberal. It's the only the ego behind thinking that someone can't just not like you based on your look, based on your hobbies, your interests, uh, what you choose to do with your time. That shows a magnificent wall. And it must stop. Oh, I don't care then. I don't want to watch this. I, I I don't give a fuck about him then. Uh, See, he's smart. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you, have you... See, that guy's smart. He goes, oh, he's just a chaos agent that I don't give a fuck. And, and, you know, that doesn't bother me. then. If this was a politically driven thing, that would bother me because that's unfair. But if this guy is just doing it, then it's okay. So he almost, he knows it. He is almost smart enough, but these guys, they had planned a speech because they got so offended that they're going to keep going, even though, okay, maybe it's not that. So let's watch. Anything uh, about him? No? He's got, no, he's a, he's a he's an internet web dude. What's his YouTube? Web Here, I'll just dude. Go social web dude. Well, Gary, you it's a little wild can't talk a little because... Small. You have figurines. Look, I have figurines. DVDs. DVDs. So I you do. are you are the worst scum, QAnon proud boy, something. Yeah, this guy might be doing just a bit, and I have no idea. You never know. You never know. He could be just fucking trolling right or now. Or a list. Should we carry on. I wish he would. He could have just been making a list. <laughs> no, it's a bit, and that's what Sheila thinks. I don't know what's going on. So it must be a bit. I don't know. This guy and his bits. You know, that's what people think. He's doing a bit. I don't know. Let's carry on. A found community. It's the most dangerous thing happening today. Um, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Open discourse Listen. on the internet for anybody to, to watch. Cheers, guys. That is the most dangerous thing today. <laughs> Open discourse. Communicating whoa. with other people. Talking. Discussing your points. Agreeing, disagreeing. Yes. This is the most dangerous thing. Yes. yes. I think if I... Enough discourse. Yeah, enough with discourse. I do actually do think it's dangerous. Because you don't know what you're really talking about. And you've got hordes of other people who don't really know what they're talking about. And you've created your own separate society. That's why I compared you to QAnon and the Proud Boys. 
You've created this thing where you only listen to yourselves and no outside input. I do think it's dangerous. It will come clear that it's dangerous eventually. Now, when I say dangerous, does that mean you need to be stopped immediately? Not yet. Not yet. But I still do think it's risky. Something's wrong with it. I could tell you that. And I know that guy in the top corner there that they all say, isn't he constantly, all I hear is bad things about him. But who am I to judge? I do know Chrissy Marr is really, really bad. I know this guy from Crowder must be really, really bad because Crowder is really, really bad. So I know that these two are very bad. So when I see people hanging out with two people that I know are very bad, well, I'm suspicious at the least. You could, you two are probably innocent, though. You're most likely just dumb, not evil. So let's hear the rest. Today, folks, the most dangerous thing. And this guy's sat on his own, fucking smelling his own farts in his fucking echo chamber because there's no one else here to fucking talk to him. But we're in open discourse with multiple different people. Multiple bad people. But hey, I have figurines and DVDs, so I am the worst of the fucking worst. This guy's a fucking lunatic. Lunatic. And they know, they almost know that what they're saying is nonsense, but they... That's them on the cliff. uh, Gary. Yeah, this guy... This guy hasn't even watched any of our stuff. His producer, or whoever... Yeah. Um, maybe his fucking care worker Don't probably me. has put this image up. Everything he's saying is projection and assumption. Everything. <laughs> Ooh, fake laugh. See the, the other guys guys shut up, The other guy's like, "Oh, uh, I think we could uh, move past this pretty much." And then you do a fake laugh to cover up some pain. A big laugh. You know, now I am actually re-concerned about this bunch, okay? (laughs) What's going on, man? This can't be, again, it's like, Gavin, I can't be your biggest nightmare. Aren't you guys, like, fighting in the trenches all day with some really heavy topics? Certainly being insulted about the figurines and DVDs is the least of your daily war worries. You agree with it? It It's... it's Really weird. It's like when you see Ball Gino pen. promote the Proud Boys see, and pretend. Oh, here, this is where it got screwed up. I'm talking about Gino, but this clip was about Gina Carana. So they think I am talking about their clip. Do you see this? This is just a big misunderstanding, sir. Just a great. They're not great. I don't hate great people. I stand by that. All That's right. a great line. I don't give two shits. His commentary. I don't give two shits. Yes, you do. You again for me. <laughs> I don't give two shits. Did you think that one through even? I don't give two shits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at his face. Oh, I'll zoom in because he's a little small, which is an uh, oxymoron. I don't give two shits. He's lost himself in the content. <laughs> I don't give two and he kind of bails on the shits part because he's like, Wait, oh, fuck my inner model. Yeah, let's hear it again. Because like that, you should be thinking that's yourself, not saying that out loud. Here, let's hear the commentary. When you see Gino promote the Proud awesome. Boys and pretend that they're just a great, great They're it? not great. I don't hate great people. <laughs> All right. I don't give two shits. Fuck. This guy's a narcissist. <laughs> Look at the gears going. How slow do they go? (laughs) Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Speed it up, bro. It's not that hard. I could look at you. I didn't even have to hear you. I spelled it out. You know, you could show me any guy. And in one second, I could do an hour on him. And it pretty much lines up. You're sitting there with all those DVDs. You would think each DVD should be like a memory. Don't you consider yourself smarter than me? Certainly is a nerd. I thought you guys were brainiacs. Uh, let's hear some more. Me, 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 me. I, I. I don't... <laughs> they like that two shits part. 
You know, I, I, I don't do stuff like that. I know who's shit. I know who's full of crap. Without listening to anything. Yes. Without watching anything. Exactly. You got it. <laughs> this is all off a fucking screenshot. Exactly. Yeah, and this was like a throwaway thing that I didn't even know. Like when this all started blowing up on Twitter, it took me about four hours to figure out what was going on. <laughs> because I don't even care or know. You think I knew who the fuck I was pointing at? You know? I didn't even remember that this happened. No, this is just a, a blip in we our show. very drunk. And, uh, you know, for you guys to go ham like this, you exposed yourself and even your own fans. They're all laughing at you. You know, everything we do on the show now kind of, you know, with the size on thing last week who, you know, I like him dearly. I actually think he's a great Internet character. I don't want you guys to go after him and report him. I think he's pretty funny. Um, but, uh, you know, it's like, it's starting to happen on this red bar where, you know, the ending is 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 always kind of in our favor, no matter what. Now, the ending of everybody who's on my screen it don't end well for the people on my screen, without even me really doing anything anymore, just being myself. So I think somebody upstairs is starting to notice. And starting to give me some gifts. <laughs> Ever since you turned Christian. Ever since I turned Christian. Remember that when I converted to Christianity? So, um, you know, it's uh, it, it always works out in the end here. I think this is a marvelous moment here. As uh, nerdy as this is, you know, some people, oh, don't get in the weeds with these guys. I like these guys. You got to see what the lawyer says. Let's hear Seeing some more. What other people think of Red Bar yeah. Kicks is like my favorite thing. It really is because we always think, you know, we're just talking to the guys. It's just us and the guys. People and get then it. when you see people from outside of Red Bar, I don't understand because I watch back Red Bar all the time. Perfectly reasonable to me. Well, Everything that I hear myself saying makes total sense to me. Remember that long emailer guy that yeah. we read his big long yeah. email? Who Zen, some, Zen Rhino. Zen Rhino. He tweets to me the craziest yeah. stuff like every single day. Like yesterday, he tweeted me a thing where he's like, interesting hypocrite Mike David makes fun of Tim Pool for wearing a hat, and he's also wearing a hat. Yes, this <laughs> is really what we're talking about here. And it's got 81 likes. Oh, yeah, and he keeps the trying problem to post is, this video where from like five years ago of Mike making fun of Joe Biden. Yeah. Like he thinks that that's a burn to Mike because Mike's a lib now. These people now. think... Because I don't think COVID is a hoax that I'm a lib. A lib that goes ape, ape. Anyways, I kind of like his tweets. Yeah, we like his tweets. His but again, rocks. I mean, these are the people. I mean, this is a guy. He goes, a hypocrite Mike David made fun of Tim Pool for wearing a hat. May I present to you Mike wearing a hat? And it's like, whoa. <laughs> It, but again, it has 81 likes. I like them, though. And these people are all... No, wow. those tweets don't get any likes. Oh, okay. Zero. I just but I still think like them. that it is a concern that people are kind of this off, and then they think we're the ones who are off. This world, huh? So that's why it's like, I would love to have a third party brought in, but who would they even listen to? It, it's uh, To me, that's what I mean. It's the most dangerous thing in the world going on. It's this group of ultra confident wrong people and yeah it is QAnon. it's these guys and it's the proud boys kind of actually uh, don't apologize let's see some more oh i do apologize knows, i do apologize Gary. Please. he already knows he knows us inside and out because we got dvds and figurines wow and these guys are bad, <laughs> and they shouldn't have internet access. And uh, today we're going to show you some of the grandest delusions of all. I hope that doesn't impress you. See, and then they want to go, he's trying to cancel us. That's what they do to me. I mean, come on. Do they even believe that? They don't know how people talk. Can't you talk in a way anymore? But I don't know what can be done. I don't know how we can fight back without looking like it's political. This is the problem. What are, what are you <laughs> fighting against? <laughs> you. Free speech? Oh. Open discourse? Imagine calling what you do on the daily open, open discourse. discourse. Have you ever 
thought about like how gay this all is. Didn't people used to like pick on people just for being queer, like in the sense of like, oh no, it, it's open this card. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, aren't we? Do we have any standards for what's cool anymore? <laughs> You know what I mean? Imagine if I called what I do like, open what are you, the discourse. Class president? I know. Are you running for hall monitor too? <laughs> like, are you that big of a teacher's pet that you would say something as atrocious as open discourse? <laughs> I mean, listen to what you people have become. Again, your favorite guy says, Why so serious? You're so serious, all of you. Everyone on the internet with this politics and the Trump and any all, all of you are anti-abortion. Why are you so serious? This has been my problem with all of these groups to begin with and all these fucking people. You all turned from people who like to... Remember, like, back in the day, 4chan used to be about, like, funny stuff. Now everyone's so serious on every side and everything is about the facts and everything is about open discourse. Shut the fuck up. Look what you've become. Shut up. Why so serious? Isn't that the best line you've ever heard in your <laughs> life? Don't you have a tattooed in your arm with fucking clown paint? Don't you dress up like the jokester? Don't you have him framed in every room of your house? Why can't you take his best line and listen to it? What do you have a problem with? None of us are QAnon. None of us are fucking Proud Boys. So, so your labels are fucking bollocks. What are you worried yeah. about? What are you trying to censor us for? Discussing Gina fucking Carano? Yes. You are mad. You are tapped in the head, sir. <laughs> you are crazy. I don't like the UK and the Americans doing crossovers. I don't like the way shows. that this guy is speaking to us right you now, are to mad. be honest. I mean, you know, this is how Logan must feel when KSI goes after him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these guys from the UK, the UK YouTubers are off a little bit, man. They don't... The UK YouTubers are off! Right! It's like fucking I Christ. mean, guys, calm down, calm down. Don't you ever listen to Drake? <laughs> See, you've seen a fucking screenshot, made up a bunch of shit in your head... And now you believe it. That's the worst fucking thing. You believe it. You're crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus fucking Christ. Maybe. I like think you meant to say beans and fucking rice. <laughs> the other guy knows Shouldn't be talking about our guy... American God's son. By the way, Jesus was an American, not from London. He thinks I'm from London now. Is London the only you? Shut up. It's called a show. Jeez. I mean, how do you watch one of your superhero movies? You must be going nuts, pausing every second. Hit the green button. Excuse me, a man can't fly. <laughs> I mean, how do you get through one of these action movies if everything is so fucking serious to you? believe it you're crazy jesus fucking <laughs> christ <laughs> maybe lay off the fucking alcohol yeah maybe you've got a problem the other guy's like i'm not this stupid but i will allow my friends to be <laughs> i can't get in another friend fight um, go to a 20 step clinic gary will fucking sort you out oh gary he'll used fucking to... put you on the right path let me guess gary's a rick this is gary are you a recovering alcoholic, sir? Damn. How does it make you feel that I could drink with ease? <laughs> no problemos in my life o ever o. <laughs> you know, these people think I'm like entrenched in life drama like them. I come here, I say this, and then I go camping. There's no problems outside of anything. And this isn't even a problem. Are you out of your mind? But in their world, like, this is all they're doing. They're on Twitter having a war with everyone every day. And God knows what's going on in the private messages. The anxiety they must be suffering. The anxiety every day is a war. You guys should try you know, a drink. You guys should try drinking, talking shit. And Loosen then, up a little. It's fine. Then you just go on and you do your thing. You know, it, 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 this reminds me of like 2006. You know, Podcast Alley. 
We can add eight more steps. It's cool. Sure. <laughs> I only drink buffalo trees. That reminds me. You want to have one? I'm going to you now. I don't drink oh, buffalo well, Have one with me and do a song, and then I'll show you the lawyer. I think this is pretty funny. If you want to watch the full video, it's called Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, just remember, Redbird. this is like a half hour long. Yeah, it's okay. It's thing. okay. No, we can do whatever we please. Remember what happened last time, Jules, when you got involved in me. <laughs> so, um, did we hear from Sheila? Is she around? I don't think so. I haven't well, seen... Well, I'd love to. Don't, you know, if she comes in the chat later, just say, Sheila, go back and watch the show. We'd love to hear from you about what you think this all is. Let's fast forward to that lawyer. John Ricketta. Nick Ricketta and these guys, I mean, they tons of followers. Big, big, big names in law casting. There's a couple. Who's that other guy? He's like a money guy. That little guy. Remember that little guy who showed Faze Ruggs' house to us? That little guy on YouTube? Yes, Graham Stefan. Graham Stefan. Ooh, I like that guy, too. He he reminds this Nick Loretta. These guys go on and on. Here's uh, Nick. And let's see. And again, I apologize to you guys. You guys are cool. And I'd like to take you all to a dinner to show my gratitude. Also with the Clippers. I told the Clippers, all the people who clip Red Bar Clips, what do you say about an annual Clippers dinner? <laughs> and we all go out to a restaurant, long table, and we all get there and exchange stories and our favorite Red Bar moments. Might be pretty fun. Clippers annual dinner. Are you in? Or you don't go to dinners? We'll see. But I'd like to take these guys out to dinner. In fact, if you get me their contact info, I literally will send all three of these guys a $200 gift certificate. Wait, the Clippers or the nerds? No, the nerds. Oh, okay. In this video, this Nick Ricketta, the bald guy and that guy. If you could get their contact info, I will legit send them each a $200 gift card to their favorite restaurant. The Olive Garden or Outback or whatever I could find at Walgreens. I will not get them an Applebee's gift card. That food is inedible. I mean, you could get space food, survival kit food that tastes better than Applebee's. What's going on? I literally tried Applebee's. After, I mean, how many years? It's probably 25 years. I went there 25 years ago. I got the rib tips that everyone raves about. It's bone. There's bone in every... Crunch, breaking, brittle bone. It's disgusting. And I vowed never to trust them again. Even Chili's is edible. Friday's edible. Applebee's? It's worse than cafeteria food as far as there being pieces of bone and... We ordered Applebee's. I think it was one night after the show. Yeah. Like one, one night after the show. It was like 1 a.m. Nothing was around. Applebee's was open or something. We ordered the food. It was so disgusting. I mean, literally probably 400 more levels more disgusting than any other food we've ever had. And we're going, how is it open? And the prices, it's not like the prices are a dollar. It's the same almost as Outback Steakhouse or something. I mean, you're paying $10 more to go to a real restaurant. And you're going, who's eating this? Really? Everything we had was of the lowest food grade quality I could imagine. I didn't know people sold food this Like even poor. Chili's, you're like, yeah. I don't want to go there, but fine. It's I'll I didn't it. know there was a restaurant that a literally was an edible. I mean... Really, it's like the only thing worse than this is like in Chicago, there would be a restaurant that was like a front for a Middle Eastern terrorist cell. <laughs> and you'd be like, I'll take uh, the beef kebab. And you'd get it and you go, there's a not, there's, this, is, this was a front. This was a front. My bad. Didn't mean uh, I'm not. Applebee's is so bad. You think it's something's going on, but people go to it. They sell the gift card in every... I'll, I would never buy them an Applebee's gift card. I'll get them. I think Outback Steakhouse is great. We got it uh, a few nights ago. It was incredible. Bloomin' Onion? Out here, it's even better than it was in Chicago. That Bloomin' Onion was immaculate. Each petal Looked like the picture. was perfect. It was like I was in Willy Wonka's Outback Steakhouse, where everything is incredibly artistic. The steak. 
Oh, the steak. It melted in my mouth. Now I know it's all fake. I feel like the steak at Outback, you have to eat it with the Bloomin' Onion or it's not good. You have to put oh, like, the Bloomin' wow, Onion Oh, wow, not as... me. I think every piece of food at Outback is superb. You I make do. a little bite where you do the little steak piece, then the little Bloomin' Onion petal on top, and then a yeah. little scoop of mashed, mashed potatoes potato. on top, and then it's It's a good. delicious, perfect, well-balanced meal. I like to get the Aussie Q shrimp that are really bad you know what they <laughs> screw up the shrimp you get a shrimpy gum is this shrimp or big mike's chewing gum you know it's all right let's just see the lawyer uh, we got a great show for you guys today chris Delia coming you know, we up should do that next we got it she's worried today i'm just so excited he's worried all right let's uh hear from the lawyer because this guy's big oh Oh wait, it's muted. It's muted. We'll just I'm show you sorry. I'm a lawyer, and you could watch the rest. I'm sorry. Of your... Okay, it's it's unmuted now. And you know he's a lawyer because he's got all these uh, dic- dictionaries here and encyclopedias from when I was in sixth grade. If you have a bookcase like this, I gotta suspect you're up to something. This is all on DVD. You don't need it in book form. <laughs> Remember when people used to get encyclopedias from the grocery store? Every week, they'd come out with another uh, letter. I only made it to the letter D, I believe, before I gave up on that. He's got these law books. Any lawyer that presents their law books in the background has got to be up to something. This is all you should have in the background if you're a lawyer. One iPad with all the law books installed. You shouldn't have the physical books. It's just crazy. So, and a lawyer should never wear a t-shirt. Haven't you seen Curb Your Enthusiasm? What the hell is this? Uh, It's Casual Friday. What, you don't like? Remember that? (laughs) Uh, You're fired. No lawyer of mine wears a t-shirt. You look ridiculous. I want my lawyers wearing suits. I sometimes have done this. It's been on a delusional. I sent you one of those screenshots you were talking about. Oh, that's where. I keep thinking this one? that's you. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Okay, here the lawyer. Do people know what I'm talking about here. Let's just hear the lawyer. No, because I'm getting sick of this. Here, myself. look at this. This is what they're doing. This is what the losers are doing now because they can't. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing. These losers. <laughs> they all do the same thing. Repeat and laugh. Repeat and laugh. That's a big, even people That's like a big Cody tell. Ko, who Cody are super Ko. famous for like messing with people yeah. on YouTube, half of the stuff he's, and people are like, he's, he's so a genius. Remote. He's a genius, but half of the stuff he does is just repeating back what Repeat the person on the video just said. And laugh. Which of course we all do that sometimes, but. But it really that shows. Can't be your it's like, first thing. again, don't hit that pause button unless you have a plan. The, it, it just shows your defense. This is like the cry face emoji, which they finally came out. Did you see this? The cry face emoji, which I've been calling BS on for years. I don't need the article, but they wrote an article. It's over, folks. The cry face emoji is a tell. It's a sign that you're not equipped to deal with what you're being told. So you cry face emoji. It's a mask. You try to trick people and think you're laughing hysterically. You ain't laughing hysterically. You're deeply offended. And you don't know what else to do. This pause and repeat and laugh is the same thing as that bogus cry face emoji. (laughs) They're doing, they're doing a thing. Be losers alone. Look at this. They're the horror. They're doing a multi. Chrissy Mar. Look at the balds. The balls. (laughs) <laughs> that- well, roast it again. Hey, guys, again, $200 gift card. We're very sorry. And thank you for accepting our apology. Sheila Aliens, we need an explanation from you. For sure. All right, I loved that. Thank you for allowing me. Thank you for allowing me.